Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks that you can use to make your line art look perfect. So without any further ado, let's just get started. So the first thing that I want to tell you guys is that all of the tips that I'm sharing in this video are applicable in any software or app that you like to use and it's not software or app specific and right now I'm using Procreate and yeah, so that's that. Now I'm just going to start off by showing you guys what brush I use. No matter what software I'm using, I always use Airbrush. No matter if I'm using Photoshop, Procreate or any other software like Sketchbook, I always use Airbrush. Also, I never use any smoothening tools that these software has like procreate has streamline similarly photoshop has this smoothing smoothening i should say um tool with which we can actually make our lines look um perfect and effortless but i don't like to use when i am doing my line art so that's that the next thing comes to the color that i use so whenever i am painting skin or painting a portrait i always try to use colors which are close to skin colors so as you guys can see right here i'm using this pretty dark um, brownish kind of color and i'm gonna be using this color to outline this artwork right here i never use black color whenever i'm doing my line art so that's that also because i sometimes do blend these lines or outlines out later when i'm painting the skin so if uh if you have watched my tutorial on how to paint skin digitally then you must know what i'm talking about and if not just go ahead and check that video out so the next tip is um always make sure that the rough sketch that you have is um isn't the color lighter than black color so as you guys can see the outlines or the lines that i have right here in this rough sketch are lighter in color are blue in color this desaturated blue color now this is going to just help us in the process when we are actually uh, making those line art and yeah we are not going to get confused by the rough sketch and the line art that we are doing i hope that makes sense okay guys so the next tip would be how your strokes should be or how the brush strokes should go now what i mean by that how faster or slower sh you should go so when i go slowly like this as you guys can see there are a lot of bumps in my lines but when i go a little faster with the strokes the line the lines comes out to be perfect because I'm being really confident with my lines and I am just going ahead and drawing those strokes and we don't have any bumps in those lines. But when we go really, really slow, we get a lot of bumps in our lines. So that's something you should keep in mind while you are doing your line art, um, how the movement is going or how the movement should go when you're making those strokes. I would highly suggest you to go a little faster when there is like an area which is um, bigger in size and you want to go ahead and create lines over that just go a little faster to create perfect line if you are if you're not using any additional smoothing tool that, as i am in this video another thing you want to keep in mind is you don't really have to outline each and every detail in your um, artwork or painting whatever you are doing so as you guys can see if i were to um, outline these little um, details it'll look crazy because at the end of the day i'm just going to be blending these parts and these are just i just drew these lines just to kind of remind myself how the tip of the nose is going to look so you don't really have to outline each and every little detail that your artwork has another thing you want to keep in mind you guys is the pigmentation of the color now what do i mean by that any part of the face or any part of your artwork that is catching light should be lighter in color let me just decrease the opacity of this layer and if this part of his face is catching light then i would go really lightly right here 
really really lightly and if some parts of his face are in a darker side of the artwork or the light is not really hitting there then i would actually go a bit darker there like this that's another tip that you want to keep in mind no matter what you are drawing just keep in mind the light source uh, in your artwork and keeping that in mind go ahead with your line art now line art actually you know enhances everything so you want to really keep this in mind where the shadows are and where the highlights are going to be or where the light is coming from so that's really really important another thing you guys another tip or if you are not really confident with this stroke thing then what you can do is um, only if you know that you are going to be blending those lines out afterwards so as you as i just said whenever i paint skin i actually kind of go ahead and blend the outlines just a little bit so when i do that i don't really care about how perfect my line is going to look so i make those lines a bit bumpier and i'm not really bothered by that because at the end of the day I'll be blending these lines out later on anyway so if that's the matter with you as well then you can go ahead and do this uh, movement I don't know just give me a word for this do this jerky motion I don't know this is the exact thing um, you can do that you just have to make sure you're not going crazy with it but be really gentle while doing so it still looks nice it st still looks neat the key here is what I basically do is I I'm basically creating these lines and I'm going back and forth, back and forth to create a whole new line, if that makes any sense. So I'm basically going like this, back and forth, back and forth. And that looks kind of nice. That doesn't look dirty. That doesn't look, you know, messed up at all. But if those strokes were going like this, then it would look messy or dirty. So that's what you want to do is you just want to create a line, go back, come back up, create a line, go back, come back up. That's what I do. That's what I basically do when I know the area I'm going to be um, lining up is kind of bigger. So that's what I kind of do. That's what I usually do. I really like this technique. And as you guys can see right here, it doesn't look messy or not clean at all. I hope that makes sense you guys these are all my personal tips and tricks that i use when i'm drawing my line art and uh, yeah nothing is nothing crazy nothing special at all and now i'm just gonna be going ahead and i'm just gonna speed through the video and i'm just gonna be showing you guys how i um do my line art on this artwork also i'm super duper excited to complete this artwork and if you are keen to see um the results then just follow me on instagram and i will link it down in the description other than that give this video a big thumbs up also subscribe to my channel i post every monday and friday and yeah do subscribe to my channel you guys it really does motivates me a lot and also comment down below how do you like this video if this video was helpful or any suggestions you might have for my channel or new videos that you want me to do then yeah just leave a comment down in the down in the comment section below i was gonna say down in the description yeah so other than that i'll see you guys in the next video